So there we are, this is what it's all about. Joining me today, I'm at Turley Court Fisheries in Gloucestershire, home venue for me, living in Cheltenham. This is a very, very local venue to me, so this is also one of my favorite venues. As you can see, the fish are in an absolute pristine condition. Um, there are the odd couple that have got damaged mouths. It's the same with any fishery. Now, a lot of people don't like the fishery, but to me, it's one that is very special. Another common, taking on mainline south again, dumbbell, solid bag, seems to be the winning tactic at the minute, taking off a little, uh, about a rod length off of the island, um, overhanging willow, absolutely hundreds of snags round by it, just tried running me straight into them, um, obviously the carpet are quite smart, they're quite used to being caught now, so he knows where he's going, he knows how to avoid it, unfortunately for him, I knew where he was heading straight away. Yeah, again, not massive. The average size of the carpet is between 15 and 17 pounds. Like you say, when it comes to size, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, you know, look at the size of the tail on him. You can understand why he's a bit of a power horse for the size. Perhaps he 
guys in. Another little capture to add to the album. Another little fish, lovely. I'm gonna slip in back, get some pictures, then we'll crack on and try and get some more. stupid but push him out a little bit and he looks a lot bigger yes. So guys, I would uh, walk you through my rigs I've been using today in order to show you know the success of how useful these rigs can be on this, this lake. Now, this lake itself is quite a silty lake. Um, the bottom of the lake, obviously it's autumn now, the leaves have started coming off the tree. The falling in the water are sinking to the bottom of the lake, which is creating a bit of like silty, you know, leaf debris on the bottom, shall we say. So, I, I tend to use supple hook links here. Um, they do, you know, because a lot of my fishing here is solid bag fishing. Now it does mean results. I've had 32 fish here, so I can come on over these so I can have a 10 fish here. It just it depends on the day. But the way I'm going to explain to you the next one is um, basically, so the first rig I tend to use down here more than anything is the Ronnie rig. Now, as you can see, connected with the quarter boom, connected up to the spinner swivel, onto a curved shank hook, a bit of shrink tube over it, nice hook bead, and I tend to use micro swivels rather than screws. I find a micro swivel manoeuvres more than a screw, and there's less likely chance of it coming off, the, the bait coming off the hook if it's flossed on. Obviously, that's topped off with a 15 mm um, mainline cell popper. It's my all-time favourite bait, and as you've seen today, it's doing me some absolute wonders. 
So that's my pop-up rig I tend to use on this venue. Going on to my second rig. Now this is my wafter and bottom bait rig, rig for everywhere. Um, and that's the multi-rig. Because a lot of people use it for pop-ups, I find it works better for me with wafters and bottom baits. Now the reason for that is it's got the movement. If, I, if that hook hits a rock or it catches on anything on the way down, that's just going to slide back and then it's going to slide straight back. So that's constructed a 15 pound end trap from Corda, um, straight to a size 8 white game Kamakura hook. Um, now these hooks, there's a lot of debating about these hooks but they have always done me very well. So I still tend to stick with what I know. Bit of shrink tubing over the knot just to neaten everything up, loop onto the hook. And then again, leading onto a dumbbell bottom bait mainline cell. Um, that's how I do that. And like I say, that's that's flossed on again purely because if it gets caught, it ain't gonna come off. If you have a screw, there's a chance that it might pull off the screw, and it can create all sorts of havoc. Um, you know, you could be out there thinking your bait is out placed perfectly when in fact it's come off. With this, this is 100% confidence. This is what I tend to use with 99.9% .9 of my fishing, and it's like said if you've seen the results it's given me today so to accustom that I tend to use PVA sticks um, this water is quite a stick water you can get away with using bags I mean I've used solid bags to great, um, great results on this thing and for my solid bags all I'm using is the quarter solids and the main line spot PVA bags this literally is just different size pellets different flavours allows different breakdown times on these waters where there's a lot of fish in them it is perfect because you can pick off any sort of fish now on this water to pick off the bigger fish i tend to use either an 18 mil or two 15 mil oilies doubled up um sweet corn tends to draw the fish in very very quick on this water if you want a quick bite sweet corn is always a go-to here but apart from that guys it's that that is as simple as that it's a simple there's some nice fish in here, so you know, get down here and give it a try. 